okay let's start over uh, the remaining lab six so this is basically the simplified uh, simplified desk algorithm uh, if you guys you can actually see on your assignment as well the central part the middle part is basically the key generation algorithm um, both the parties sender and receiver they share the same key generation algorithm to generate the identical keys uh, so let's start firstly I mean the task one through six we need to actually uh, create these two keys we'll see how we can generate these two keys by using this permutation 10 shifting and all that stuff and then we will run this encryption as well and um, if you want to decrypt you you just have to do it in the reverse order so let's start with the word task uh, task uh, two uh, I believe everybody is good with the task one uh, where you just have to calculate the ASCII code for your first two letters so for the task two if you see down here 10 bit key we are taking P10 so in the task two we are going to use first 10 bits of your ASCII code uh, and uh, we need to apply permutation 10 how so first of all just write down 10 bits 10 bits like this is 8 just uh, borrow 2 bits from your second letter so let me write it down here uh, my first 10 bits it's the 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 I need to borrow these 2 bits from here to make it 10 0 1 then please write down a numbering on the top of it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so what I did I just actually wrote down my ASCII code and borrowed these two bit and wrote the natural numbering on the top now for P to P10 permutation 10 we just have to rearrange this pattern according to uh, all these bit according to this pattern what does it mean it means the bit at third position will go down first bit at 5 position let me write down this pattern here so 3 5 2 7 4 10 1 9 8 6 so bit at third position will come down here which is 0 fifth position bit 0 second position bit will come down here 1 bit at seventh will come here which is 0 it will come here fourth bit is 1 10 bit is 1 bit at first position is 0 bit at nine position is 0 bit at 8 position is 1 bit at 6 position is 1 so this is basically the result after we pass over uh, over input from the permutation 10 this is the result of permutation 10 in your case it might be different depending upon your ASCII code uh, secondly the very important thing to, uh, to remember this permutation 10 it's not fixed I mean I'm just it, I'm just using as a case uh, as an example in fact it could be different it could be different in any scenario okay it's not fixed in fact but we're gonna use this next is the uh, left shift left shift one so we need to actually so if you see down here after you calculate p10 the next stage we need to shift it so we what we need to do is we just have to left shift the output of p10 by one so let me write it down so uh, basically zero Three, zero zero one zero one zero zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one and then one zero zero one 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 zero zero one one so what we have to do is we just have to shift the extreme left bit on the right side it's very simple so the bit on your extreme left side this is the bit on the left side we will shift it on right here so this bit will go down here so it will become now if you just see, move the, this particular bit on the right side so it will become zero like start writing from here one zero one one zero zero one one zero that particular bit will come down here so next is the uh, task four where we just have to result of task three this result result of task three this result and apply p8 so we need to apply p8 on this result again do the same thing we need to uh, rearrange these just like p10 we rearrange this uh, this pattern according to this one so let's let's let me write down these particular bits here uh, 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 let's put the numbering on the top 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now rearrange these these bit like the result of this according to this pattern so bit at 6 position bit at 6 position this is the bit it will come here 0 let me write down here 6 3 7 4 8 5 
10, 9. So bit at uh, third position, this will come down here. Bit at seven position will come down here. Four position will come here. Eight position will come here. Fifth position will come here. Ten will come here. Nine will come down here. So this is the output of permutation eight. And after permutation eight, your key one is ready. Let me show you again. If you see after P8, you got your first key. Okay. Now next, the the bit. I mean the task a three output where we just shifted. We are basically taking that input and again apply the left shift one. So very very important. Please use the result of task three, not the result of task four. Use the result of task three and apply LS1. Task three result. This is the task three result where we uh, did the left shift. Don't use this task four result. So task three result and apply left shift one. So task three, this is the task three. So let me write it down here. Zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero. This is my task three output. I need to apply uh, the left shift one exactly the same way. Oh, sorry. Zero, oh, exactly, it's, it's fine, yes. So this particular bit will be actually moved to, to all the way to right. Now please write the pattern again. It's going to be 10110011100. So this is basically the output for task 5. Where we just have moved, I mean left shift this particular bit. Next is the uh, use the result of task 5, this result and apply P8. Exactly the same, rearrange it according to this pattern. Let me write down the numbering here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, according to this pattern, rearrange them. So, bit at 6th position will come down here. Bit at 6th position is 0. Bit at 3rd position will come down here. 1. Bit at 7th position, this is 7. 1. 4th position bit, this is 1. 8th position, 1. 5th position, 0. Bit at 10 position, 0. Bit at 9 position, 0. So this is my K2. Okay, if you see uh, the K2 is ready, these are the two keys. If you see this is key 1 and that's the K2. So this is the way how task 6 will be done. Next is the uh, task 7. Uh, for the task 7, take last 8 bit. So we need to go back to our um, task 1 output. We need to take these eight bits for task seven. So task one output the second uh, the second letter ASCII code, and apply initial permutation. So let me write down my uh, task one output. It was zero one zero zero one one zero one. Okay, this is this is the output of task one last eight bits. Last eight bit. I need to write down the numbering on the top. So let me write down the numbering. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now rearrange them according to this pattern. So, uh, okay, so bit at second position will come here, 1. Bit at sixth position will come here, 1. Bit at third, first, uh, 4, 8, 5, 7, so this is the result of initial permutation. That's the output, result of initial permutation. Next is the uh, task eight. Uh, use the first four bits of task seven, output of task seven, and apply EP, extended permutation. How we can expand it. So the result is 11000110. Let me take first four bits. So first four bits are one one zero zero these are my first four bits these are the first four bits i just took these four bits and write down here right just again write down the numbering on the top one two three four and now place start placing them bit it's uh, uh, the fourth position zero first second third second third four one so this is basically the result of extended permutation, task eight. Just you have to expand these four bit into eight. Next, XOR between task eight and task four. So this is task eight output. We need to go back 
Why we are doing so? If you see down here, we are taking XOR P8 and uh, the input initial permutation in NFK, we are just taking XOR. So K1 XOR this. So we will, uh, the task four, this is the task four output where we had K1, we will take XOR between this and our uh, EP output. So now let me write down my task four output. So my task four output is, task four output is, zero 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 one 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 zero one this is my task four output and my task eight output is zero one one zero one zero zero one just take xor remember xor same zero different one same zero different one different one one zero one zero zero so same if two bits are same result is zero different result is one this is xor if you guys remember so this is my task nine output and now the last task that's the hardest one it's the hardest task um, i mean i believe it is okay because we have to back and forth convert into uh, binary and then uh, decimal and all that stuff let me write down my task nine output here it is uh, zero one 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 zero one 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 and zero one zero zero one zero zero okay so this is task nine output you need to do what th uh, one thing you need to actually divide your task nine output into two parts the left one will be used with substitution box number zero the right one will be used with substitution box number one if you see we have two substitution boxes uh, substitution box, these substitution boxes are written in decimal values, so we need to convert our binary into decimal. Uh, I'll show you how we can do that. Now, outer two bits will select row, inner two bits will select column. Please remember that, same is the case S1. Outer two bits will select the row of substitution box, and inner two bits will select column okay now uh, let me write down a small binary to decimal conversion table uh, it would be much easier for you guys to understand let's say uh, for example 0 okay 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so this is equal to 0 1 2 3 so this is decimal and that's gonna be the binary you can use any other. I'm just using a simple one because we have just two bit data. Okay, now uh, if you see what is the row number from substitution box from left side, row is 0, 01, outer two bits as I told you guys. 0, 01 is row, column is 11, 11 one. One is column, column. From here, 00, zero is row, from S1. And one 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 zero is column. Column. Okay. Now, according to because as I mentioned earlier, substitution boxes are written in decimal value. So we need to convert these binary into decimal. So zero one. What is the decimal value for zero one? We can see that zero one decimal value is one. So row number one. One one binary decimal is three column three. So it means row number one column number three will be selected. So row number in S0, in S0. So row number one, this is row number one. Column number, row number one, column three. Column number three, this is column three. Now which value is overlapping? You can clearly see that this value is common between these two, I mean value, zero. So output is zero, but it is in decimal value. We need to convert it into uh, the binary value. So binary of zero, so zero, decimal zero, binary of zero, zero, zero. So zero, zero is the answer came out from S0. Let's do the same thing for S1. So zero, zero row. So zero, zero is in, in binary. So zero, zero binary convert into decimal, row number zero. One zero is column. So one zero binary, what's the decimal two? So row number zero, column number two will be selected. So row number zero, this is row number zero. And column number two, column number two. 
So column number two, this is column number two. Which value is coinciding? Two is basically common in between. So two is the answer. Again, as I mentioned, it's in decimal. Convert two into binary. So what will be the binary for two? It's one zero. So one zero. So the final cipher text is zero zero one zero. This is my final cipher text. Okay. So that's it about uh, the lab six. Uh, please just keep me posted. If you guys have any question, any issues, just let me know.